so let's go, uh, go ahead and study alkenes right now alkenes are hydrocarbons of course and they have this group they, they must have at least one carbon carbon double bond and whatever the chain be it can be long it can be short whatever uh, apart uh, provided they don't have other functional group they shouldn't have a carboxylic acid group or they shouldn't have a alcoholic group or they shouldn't have a ketonic group right otherwise they will not be called as alkene so the basic the basic uh, condition for a compound to be alkene it must be hydrocarbon there shouldn't be anything apart from hydrogen and carbon there shouldn't be other functional groups and there must be at least one carbon carbon double bond fine now the re now we studied very few reaction um, I, I taught you only one reaction of alkene there are other other small reactions like combustion and then we have pyrolysis which are not important I, I didn't teach you there were one major reaction of alkene that we studied in depth but for alkenes there will be n number of reactions and for the, the reason is simple because alkene is more reactive than alkene and uh, hence it will show many reactions the reason for reactivity of alkene is this pi bond now this you must uh, you you must be understanding that when there are two bonds here the first bond one of the bond we don't know which is the first bond one of the bond is sigma bond the first bond is sigma bond and the next bond the other bond is a pi bond now although we draw them them with just similarly with two dash but one of the bond is a strong bond which is formed by head on overlapping right this this is a carbon and carbon the first bond between them is formed by head on overlapping this is a strong bond the next bond is a pi bond because th for the next two orbitals you cannot keep them head on if you bring them head on this will be this would become la l lateral to each other the, because the orientation of the orbitals are such because they are perpendicular to each other you can have only one head on overlapping the others this is the orientation of the third orbital similarly this carbon will also have the orientation of the third orbital so they will be uh, uh, they they will be perpendicular to each other and you cannot have more than one orbital having head on overlapping like this is the orientation suppose this is the first orbital this will be the second orbital suppose this is in x axis this will be in, on y axis perpendicular right and the third one will be in the z axis perpendicular to the first two similarly you'll have other carbon suppose this is the orientation of the orbital of other carbon so the when they come closer when they come closer the first one will have head on but the next you cannot have head on if you try the next orbital to have head on overlapping this have to break if you have head on for these two the other will have lateral if you have head on for these the other two will have lateral overlapping so at max you can have only one lateral over, uh, head on overlapping the other two have to be lateral overlapping so the first bond is a strong bond as we have in case of alkane the next has to be a weaker bond this bond which will be overlapping from a distance this bond which will be over overlapping from a distance will be a weaker bond because the overlapping will not be effective as you have in case of head on overlapping so that this this you know so you have one bond as a sigma bond other bond as a pi bond sigma bond of course will be stronger because of effective overlapping pi bond will be weaker now that weak bond make it more reactive because suppose someone comes with an empty orbital asking for begging for electron then this can give electron because this is a weak bond electronic density are not tightly held they can come in this empty orbital sigma bond cannot come because they are tightly held between two nuclei right so that makes it more reactive now nomenclature you know i'm not going to tell you apart from this uh, uh, there is a uh, now suppose you have four group now these are can be different Th this can be any alkyl part now because there is a the double bond there will be restricted rotation across these two carbon because suppose you have a single bond suppose this would this would have been a single bond as in case of alkane then these groups can rotate across this bond if you have a group attached if you have three groups 
RRR on this carbon then those groups can rotate like this considering this to be the axle you can rotate all the three groups across this bond right but in case of alkene that is not possible because these two carbons are attached with a double bond so if you try to rotate these two groups with this carbon across this bond that has to be broken right these two are tightly held like this now if you try to rotate this will break if you try to rotate this will break so it can't rotate so rotation is restricted rotation is restricted in case of a alkene in case of a double bond and it will also of course be, will be restricted in case of a triple bond but we are studying alkene and rotation will be restricted there will no will not be uh, rotation possible now this restricted rotation give rise to a phenomena of isomerism because suppose you have methyl ethyl ethyl and methyl if you have this kind of uh, alkene then these similar groups are on opposite side of the plane of the double bond right and these type of compounds are called trans when they have they are on the different plane on opposite plane of the double bond now you can have this exactly same compound uh, compound with exactly same molecular formula but we'll have different orientation in space of the groups across double bond now in this case these methyl are on the same side or the same side of the plane of double bond so uh, if you look at the molecular formula molecular formula are same because they comprise of same com same number of atoms same types of atoms so molecular formula is same so the compound have same molecular formula but they have different structure formula so this phenomena arises because of restricted rotation across double bond now in case suppose the rotation would have not been restricted then this this part can rotate methyl would have come this side ethyl would have gone the other side and this would have been the same as this compound so but th that rotation is not possible when you have don't that rotation is not possible then these two are not interconvertible when they are not interconvertible they are different compounds right so but they are isomers because they have same molecular formula so this isomerism phenomena originate because of restricted rotation of alkene so this is one of the aspect that we didn't study about uh, alkene but we have to study here right but i'll deal with isomerism separately now uh, leaving out isomerism what next we have to study or to know before uh, we st uh, start about uh, uh, formally we start with the method of preparation of alkenes now we have to bear in mind that alkene is more reactive alkene has a pi bond alkene have restricted rotation across double bond and that will give rise to isomerism of alkene